Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, this is Dr. Gursiv Sandlis, and uh, today we are going to talk about something which is uh, quite common in children and is usually a cause of a lot of anxiety to the parents whenever this diagnosis is made. So uh, we're going to talk about uh, acute appendicitis today, or rather, let's let's talk about only appendicitis per se. Okay. Uh, now, con- first of all, contrary to popular uh, perception, actually, appendix is the commonest disease occurring in pediatric age group now i'm not saying appendix is commonest in children but if you if you take the entire spectrum of appendicitis incidence then you will find that the maximum occurrence uh, statistically happens between the age of 5 years and 15 years and that is where you will find the maximum concentration of appendicitis patients presenting to us uh, now why uh, you know you, uh, we have this perception that appendix is a disease of the adult and appendix is a, is a bad disease is because uh, in adults uh, most of the time uh, you know we tend to ignore the symptoms as adults we tend to self medicate and we tend to get to medical attention much later and that's why all those horror stories about burst appendix about you know appendicular complications happening are more common in adults and and that's why appendix sort of has this phobia uh, associated with it on the contrary in children uh, we have to remember that you know a child uh, will always seek attention for the minimum of discomfort that he gets so the moment he has some sort of an abdominal pain he will complain to the parents and as parents we would always uh, seek medical attention much earlier for our own child as compared to uh, what medical attention will seek for ourselves and that is why in children you will find that they do present early they do present with what we call as minimal complications. There are, uh, in fact, seeing a burst appendix in a child, especially in a city like Mumbai, is, is quite rare. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. We have seen them. We have seen it in chronic neglect in patients where the diagnosis was missed or, or was misdiagnosed as something else and was treated. And then you get those complications. But if you look at the sheer percentage wise, that uh, percentage of severe complications in children is much less as compared to that in adults. So what exactly is an appendix? See appendix is what we call a vestigial organ. During the course of evolution uh, yeah, over thousands of years we no longer have any use for this appendix. The appendix was primarily used for digestion of cellulose and for storage of lymphoid follicles uh, uh, which it has a lot of concentration of uh, and if you notice uh, you know raw grass eating animals like elephants like cows or buffaloes they tend to have a very big appendix uh, however in the course of evolution we have no longer any use for appendix and, and as as anything which is lying idle it's going to cause trouble and that's what it does most of the times so uh, where is it located see appendix is located at the junction of your small intestine with the large intestine and that is where it lies and uh, that's why that location is in the right lower part of the abdomen this is the place where you start getting pain for appendicitis okay so how does it present now see acute appendicitis can present anywhere from being absolutely asymptomatic and an occasional abdominal pain which the child complains of to a full-blown appendicitis attack which may you know cause him to have vomiting cause him to have severe abdominal pain and you would seek medical attention immediately so it's an entire plethora of spectrum of symptoms that uh, appendicitis can present with uh, in fact a lot of uh, older children you know 10 years 12 years 13 years they do come to us with uh, a chronic non-specific kind of an abdominal pain which doesn't seem to trouble them a lot but it is there and and often uh, more often than not they would be seeking medical attention from it from their child specialist once a month or once in a couple of months and then they will be like okay this is he's having this pain maybe it's some infection it doesn't get picked up an ultrasound and you start treating them with antibiotics now uh, contrary again to popular perception ultrasound is not the be all and end all of everything that you need to know about the abdomen uh, especially in appendicitis if the appendix is hidden behind the intestine the large or the small intestine if it is in the pelvis 
if it is not really very swollen or inflamed as much as you want it to be uh, appendix is difficult to pick up in an ultrasound all right so appendix generally has a lot of clinical basis to its diagnosis you will be looking at pain in the abdomen you will be looking at something known as nausea where the child refuses to eat and of course the third most important thing is vomiting in fact pain in abdomen associated with vomiting but no loose motions is a very key differentiator for appendicitis in fact as a surgeon i would start thinking in terms of appendicitis if the child comes with right of lower abdominal pain and severe vomiting or nausea but no loose motions if you have accompanied loose motions it is more in favor of acute gastroenteritis i'm not saying it cannot be appendicitis but it is more likely to be acute gastroenteritis however if you have pain in abdomen associated only with vomiting then we are looking at something which is similar to appendicitis uh, clinically there are a few signs in fact any good surgeon should be able to pick up acute appendicitis just by examining the child and we always go for an ultrasound just to confirm our findings and and get a radiological evidence that appendicitis does exist and and that's how you proceed so it can present with something as innocuous as a chronic abdominal pain with the child has and then you visit a sur uh, surgeon or a, or a child specialist and they get you investigated and you find that the child has appendicitis so uh, how do you treat appendicitis see treatment of appendicitis today is what we call as laparoscopic appendicectomy in children laparoscopic appendicectomy is today the standard of care Uh, in a city like bombay in a city like metro city like capital city like delhi hyderabad bangalore i think laparoscopic appendicectomy is something that is a stand should be the standard of care in fact it is the available infrastructure is present it's a keyhole surgery doesn't cause any big cut to the skin or to the muscles in fact uh, what we use are very small fine 3 mm instruments and and they barely leave any scar behind at the end of the day uh, what it does is uh, it helps in early mobilization of the child early recovery of the child and and i think every child deserves a laparoscopic appendicectomy irrespective of how bad the infection is yes it depends upon the skill level of your surgeon but uh we have not done a single open appendicectomy in last 5 years that i've been at kokila bin i think we stand at somewhere around 133 consecutive uh, laparoscopic appendicectomies and we haven't had the need to open up any one of them so it's just a question of patience it's just a question of having the required skill and uh, more importantly uh, making sure that the child receives the best possible care that is there so laparoscopic appendicectomy is the treatment of choice it's the standard of care when it comes to appendicitis today uh in conclusion i would just like to say that appendix is far more common in children than what is popularly perceived any child between the age of 5 years to 15 years if having non specific abdominal pain for which you can't find a cause try and get a surgical consult let the surgeon investigate and find out is it you know subacute chronic appendicitis which is causing these kind of pains and of course a severe abdominal pain accompanied with a lot of vomiting no diarrhea and it's localized to the right lower part of the abdomen then it is definitely most likely to be acute appendicitis and needs to be dealt with uh, urgently uh now coming to the timing of surgery uh, yes there are two types of uh, controversies that people have one was that we would do an interval appendicectomy let the acute episode settle down and then you operate the child uh, as a planned surgery later on uh honestly this was something that we were also following maybe about 10 years back when we were not so proficient with our laparoscopic skills and we would not want to give an open surgery to the child and that is where you would go for an interval appendicectomy yes there are other technical issues like if there is a lump which has formed already the child has presented to you late there is a lump formation then you of course do conservative management and do an elective appendicectomy after 6 weeks but a simple straightforward acute appendicitis today <coughs> 
my advice is always to go in for a laparoscopic appendectomy because you know taking care of it medically is also going to result in 3 to 5 days of downtime in the hospital before you're sent home and if you do an appendectomy in the same period of time actually the hospital stay is cut short in most of these kids and they tend to go home early without the offending organ still inside so today when we have the skill set of doing a laparoscopic appendectomy in any sort of a situation uh patients who come to me we definitely advise them that you know uh, it is inflamed it is uh, statistically there is a 60% possibility that this attack will reoccur within the next 6 months and and it may be of a greater severity than what it has happened this time so it's always better if you are in the hospital if you are in hands of somebody who's skilled enough and capable enough to remove that appendix laparoscopically even during an acute attack that's always the more advisable thing to go for there are certain indication for which we would do an interval appendectomy but today laparoscopic appendectomy for an acute appendicitis no matter what the presentation is 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 our standard of care today and and that is what i feel should be followed everywhere and and no child deserves to have a big scar big incision and and a big uh, you know cut open of his abdomen just to remove an appendix So, if you have any comments, any suggestions, any questions, in fact, regarding management of appendicitis, uh, do uh, mention in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much.